jam stop. Als je knokken niet meer krijgt uit je kop, jam stop. Oude hoeren zonder rem op de klok, jam stop. Voor mijn strijders en mijn vechters pas zinnen. Ga lekker zitten en laten we beginnen met de jam stop. Is Glory Kickboxing the best kickbox yeah, yeah, organization in the, the world best. in your eyes yeah, or only at, uh, at uh, the heavyweight, heavyweight division? Heavyweight 100% is best out of the best. But uh, one, one is doing very good job, like not very good there. Like I'm also the fan, like they do like, I'm the fan of what they do with Muay Thai. I like Muay Thai really well, like Rotang, uh, the jo uh, Haggerty guy from UK, the The guys like that, they are, I'm very big fan of those fights and and there are also some of them, my friends there fighting, Roberto Soldic, uh, like Ahmed Kernic, Radeo Pacic, like there are a lot of fighters there that I support, but I think they do very good with Muay Thai, they also started to do kickboxing, I, I support that, I think it's uh, good for business, like to have like also very good kickboxing in um, in one and in Asia and also Japan is look at Tenshin and Takeru like what they are doing there in Japan like it's crazy so the more the better I think that's the opinion the more like the bigger organization the more the how to say the the fighter pool is bigger I think uh -huh. it's better for sport so I, I like what they do a sort of Champions League right with yeah, every yeah. division his best fighters yeah, yeah, yeah but I think glory glory no I'm no I don't think but I'm sure the glory has the best yeah. do you see yourself in the future we cannot predict the future yeah. I know that but do you see yourself fighting for another organization in the future or is glory good uh, enough for you for now I don't think so for now for now I'm a glory boy Glory boy. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> think so. For now, I'm not changing it. For me, now it's good, and uh, mm. I also like now the direction, direction in what Glory is going like. Absolutely, yeah. with the tournaments, the K1 yeah, uh, with vibes. Everything. Not only with the tournaments, but with everything. Like also the shows now, they you know they are more, much more often. I don't think they should be too often, but like. One show per month, my opinion, they know what is better, better than me, but my opinion, like one show per month and like every two months, one bigger show, that that's enough. Like, Do you attend all the events? I see you uh, occasionally in yeah, events. Yeah, if I'm here in uh, Holland or if I'm somewhere near and the show is coming, of course, I will come. I'm a fan of the sport and I think uh, as a fighting sport, the kickboxing is the the most entertaining absolutely by far like even the even the shitty fights the shitty fighters in kickboxing still it's, interesting it's very entertaining and they are very like technically good that that's there's no like in boxing boxing is just boxing is the biz, biggest business of the fighting sport and i think in boxing the problem is first the boxer is like uh, padding the 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 score like everybody has a zero but it's not really zero you are fighting just bunch of shit fighters Absolutely. and fighters you know you can win just to sell the story like 15 fight 15 chaos unstoppable machine blah 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 they are just doing they are doing that for story and i don't like that about boxing because everybody has a zero and they're like it's it's not in anymore so it's in boxing it's not but i don't think it's best On the best, I think it's 
best with money against best with money. Of course, in the end, mm. the best came out on the top, but it takes time, it right? It takes very yeah. much time, like it yeah. takes super. Yeah. But in kickboxing, the thing is like, you can maybe cheat a bit with money, but you cannot cheat for long. Like if you sign for Glory or some organization like that, maybe you have one or two easier fight, but after that, they're, they're gonna feed you to the, so you're- To the wolves. Yeah, you either survive <laughs> or no, so. Yeah, you that's cannot, true. You cannot cheat on it, so. Glory, UFC, the yeah, number one uh, is fighting the number two. The yeah, number three is fighting UFC, the number four. Yeah. Some, ah, yeah, sometimes, it's, yeah, sometimes yes, yeah, sometimes no. Business, but uh, glory for now, they are like the best fight, the best, simple as that. And you already said it, you're attending uh, uh, events because you're enjoying the kickboxing yeah, sport yeah. and you're, st you're a student of the game. Yeah. Because Bada Hari once said, uh, I only enjoy the heavyweights or the light heavyweights, but do you like also the featherweight division, the lightweight division? Yeah, of course, like the... If if some point fighter boring running around guy comes, then it's not so much fun for me. But if some like real kickboxer hard like combination and stuff like that come, I really like it. Like uh, you can see like in every division you can see pretty good fights like patch. Oh yeah, yeah every fight good technical, strong, powerful. I don't know Bestati. Very talented, very good. Just getting better and better. Now uh, the guy that Gronhardt fought, I what his name? Andy. Andy. Andy also, Samuel. Also good fighter, getting better and better. Then Wiese. Wiese is a, like Donovan kind of Wiese. Yeah, a little bit, a little uh, tiring spong. There's Serkan knocking out everybody. I don't know light heavyweight. Again, there was Vahiko, now there's like a Baina, so it's, it's, it's getting better, like you, you have every division, you have good, good fun fights to watch, like I also like, I have friends that, you know, here and there watch something of boxing or uh, MMA, like when it's a big fight, I don't know, let's say McGregor or uh, Tyson Fury, they don't watch the other stuff, and I just like brought them with me when there's some glory show and check this out and they go like mental like yeah i never seen fight good as this i say like yeah i know but you know what it is sometimes sometimes the best fighters are not the best fighter but they are just the best fighter with money what i said you know just some guys doesn't have the opportunity every time like you know how many fighters are from balkan from croatia that didn't have a chance to fight nowhere true also i presume from africa much of them from yeah. Australia, from China, India, it's, they don't just have the opportunity because, you know, it's, I don't say it's easier because you're American or British or Dutch. But it does help. But it really does help because of the, yeah. it's just the market, the market is so much bigger. And yeah. I spoke with uh, like Todd, Todd and like, Joe about that and he said like yeah when usually the people in America when they see like each or stuff like that ending the surname they're like like Russians don't give a fuck you know like it's it's like you can knock everybody out like they're not oh, interested no, no don't don't do so no, no. at least in that way it's a little bit easier I wanted to ask you eh? you you you're talking uh, uh, about it you're using especially those two Croatian big hands of yours. Does boxing interest you? I know I, I don't think I don't see you in MMA. Uh, yeah, yeah, boxing. I like boxing very much. Boxing was kind of my first love because I first started with like recreational boxing. That was the beginning. So I really like it. I like to. I'm a fan of it. I like to watch it. I'm you know I know everything about boxing. I think all the big fighters, even smaller fighters. I watch everything. I would like to try it in the future, but for now, I don't know. I also like kickboxing too much. To the business side of boxing is going on my nerves a little bit because if I could do maybe 15 fights in one day, and got some 50 shitty opponents, and just like get all off that off, it looks of it like 15 and oh, plus. Oh, you're it, interesting now. Yeah, 15 fighters one day, all by knockouts. <laughs> <laughs> then I would be like, okay, let's do it. Then, yeah. George Foreman fought five uh, boxes in one day. Yeah, you see. So, 
like uh, too much politics involved yeah, in uh, too, too boxing. Too much politics. It's yeah, the fights never happen. It's always just money thing, and yeah, it's it's shit. And it's like the close circle, like to get to get to the boxing big names. It's like the close circle. Like you need to have the crazy fame base and the crazy selling out to even come there near. You know, so if you don't sell good or do something good, it doesn't help you that you are a good fighter. Croatia had a pretty few pretty good heavyweights and stuff like that. They doesn't get a chance to fight only because they don't. It's not good to fight them because uh, you, you are risking a loss, but against the guy that nobody. nobody knows. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. that's a shame, right? I mean, even uh, YouTube influencers like Jake Paul yeah. got, got a big bigger stage than the, the mm. best fighters. Yeah, Jake Paul is prob not probably, but right now like it or don't like it or I don't care how, how you wanted to say but he is the one of the biggest fighters in the world like would you like to fight Jake Paul no I don't care about him it's, it's <laughs> like to me it's <laughs> I don't know it's now like everybody is talking shit about Jake Paul but everybody wants to fight him because of the money so like I honestly don't care like You are a small kid from America, YouTuber, boxer. You do good. He started to, he's taking boxing pretty seriously from what I see. He is getting better. So, like, he let him do him. Like, I don't care about now calling out Jake Paul to fight him just because, I don't know, to get bigger name or something. Like, I don't care. I'm, let him uh, fight Nate yeah. Diaz and leave me out of it yeah like just go I think he will knock out <laughs> Nate Diaz just so. okay we got that prediction yeah, right so, here yeah. let's talk uh, kickboxing uh, a matter of fact let's talk collision 5 it's upon us uh, yeah. the 17th of June your yeah. preparation yeah. 30 days more yeah. Yeah. How, how many days I think 30 days so you're counting the of days of course are, are you that uh, uh, is that your First goal, your target, your your sleeping, eating, drinking, only collision five. Yeah, it's my job. Like <laughs> you do nothing else. <laughs> yeah, I do nothing else. I play video games and train. That's it. Yeah. How uh, your preparation? How does it go? It's, you you already told us that you're uh, got a different schedule with your colleague Tarek yeah, Osaro. Yeah, we're not training. How the does same that work? We, do, we do not see each other, so that's it. And just. Same as for every fight, like preparation. I cannot tell you nothing about preparation that is exciting or interesting. It's it's, it's just it's get, the same. It's you just get up and do same shit every day till you till you dead tired. Then you rest a bit and you fight. That's basically it. Now I can talk a lot of uh, fancy stuff like to sound like very like that I'm doing some nuclear physics or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it is that would be a lie. Yeah, it, it's mm. just repeating the same stuff day after day, and that's it. But I think you're a perfectionist, right? Do you work on your weaknesses? Yeah, you need to be to be the good fighter. You need to be perfectionist. Not me, but I think Cookie also, Bader, Jamal, Rico, George Foreman, whoever you want to name, every single one of them is perfectionist. You cannot you you cannot be a good fighter if you're not that like. It's just you need to make yourself better all the time. If you stop doing that, you are you are not evolving. You are just on one point. And then if you are on one point, the other guy is evolving and he's going to fuck you up. And that's not good. You're going to st stick behind and we don't want that to happen. Yeah. You're fighting your teammate, uh, Tarek Osaro. I was there with the stare down at uh, Glory 85. It was a little bit weird, right? Yeah, it's you were, fucked up. You were hugging and laughing. It's fucked up. Simple as that, it's fucked up. Nothing else. It's, yeah. it's fucked up. It's The situation is weird. I don't want this shit to happen ever again. Yeah. I don't want stuff like it. It happened now. I don't want to happen it in the future. Uh, because, uh, yeah, now what? Uh, he doesn't have mic in corner. I don't have mic in corner. Walter is my side. Walter on my side. Yuri on his side. Bam. Difficult. It's shit. It's, yeah. Jamal Ben Sadiq, yeah. back in the days. Uh, Jamal and Antonio, you both said no. 
We don't want to fight each other. What yeah, did because, what did change? Because at that time, it doesn't make sense not only for us but for nobody. Like, imagine if we fought. Like we said yes. Like it, uh, there was also a moment where we were sitting here and discussing, like if they really offer us like a title, then like we cannot say no. Then we will fight. But that didn't happen in the end. But. Uh, Imagine if we fought on the, like the last collision, Bader Overeem, me and Jamal, we fought, somebody won, what happened? Nothing. No. And I think at that moment, that fight was better, not me, but I think everybody thought that because I saw the comments of people and everybody talking like, give Jamal somebody else, give uh, Plazi Batrico, after that, whatever, that was the talk. Yeah, whatever happens, if Jamal do good, he can fight Rico again. If Rico with, if I beat Rico, probably rematch. Then after that Jamal fight, then you have what we talk about a bigger story and better selling and everything. At that moment, the, doing that fight was just like a filler. Like it was just like to fill True. fill the show. So I don't. And now what happened is like. Uh, Cookie enter the tournament. I know the winner, winner of the tournament will fight me. At at this moment, there is no other logic. The only, only other stuff what I could do was say like, okay, I wait for Rico. That, that you know. And you didn't want that. It's not that I didn't want it, but it's too long. Yeah, it's boring. It's, it's boring. You want to yeah, fight? Yeah. What what should I do? Like Fifty that? matches in one day. Yeah, it's like I I what I'm 29 years old and I will now wait for one year to fight. Uh, it's uh, like just give me fights. It's good. So, yeah. and it it it's it's your character. You're confident. Uh, give me a fight. You got fans in the in all across the world in Croatia. They want to see you fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fighter. What should fighter do if he doesn't fight? Mm. What acting <laughs> movies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll we'll get that. Uh, we'll get there in a bit. Um, I want to ask you. Do you? Um, do you want to fight? Uh, you're, you're going to fight on the 17th of June. You're going to fight your teammate Tarek Osaro. But do you want to fight Rico Verhoeven? Or do you just want to fight for the title? What's more important for you? Rico. Rico? Yeah, I don't You care. want him on your list? Yeah, I don't care. I already said I don't care so much about the titles. Like this uh, interim belt, I win it. I, uh, it's it. not a title for you. I don't care. I put it around myself. I come home, give it to mother and father here. Don't don't care or give it to my son. Like you know, bring it to kindergarten or whatever. Do whatever you. I don't like. I don't care. Also, Rico, I win him. Take the title. Same shit. I take it home to mother, dad, grandpa, whoever. You know. That's Why it. is it so interesting for you? I know the obvious reasons, yeah. of course, but. Why do you want to fight uh, the king of kickboxing? Yeah, yeah, because he's the king of kickboxing. <laughs> like, it's, it's simple. I started doing this not because of the money, not because of the fame, not because of the... All, all that shit I started to do this because I wanted to uh, challenge myself, prove the time best, uh, you know, get whatever, you know, fight the best, see how far can I come what I'm made of, uh, all, all the stuff like that. So that's my motivation and like to have cool highlights, that's it like. I wanna have, I wanna have like, everybody saw probably Badrhari, Badrhari era highlights. Yeah, I want shit like that. You saw Mirko Krohab highlights, I want that. You saw Fedor Emilianenko highlights, Oof. I want that. Mike Tyson. I want that. I want have a video like that about 10 minutes of me training and knocking people out. That's it. And I think in fighting business, we talk about promotion stuff, blah, 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 everything about it. If you want to be famous and successful fighter, it's really simple. You just need to knock the best people out. I spoke with that about Mike. Like, if I win next 10 fights by knockout, Gonna be a legend. It, 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 yeah, it's it, it's, it's not, simple as that. It's hard. It's not easy. It's hard, but <laughs> if you can do that, it's very simple. Mike Tyson is not Mike Tyson because of he's Mike Tyson because he 
knock people out. Badr Hari is Badr Hari because he knocked people out. Like it's simple as that, like nothing else. They knocked people out and they fought just like you, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you fight everybody, you knock them out. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it does not go your way. Yeah, you, you cannot like, it is impossible to win everything. Like, yeah, Floyd Mayweather would now say, yeah, my record is perfect. Yeah, but you're Care. also a little bit, you know, shady, choosing, picking, doing stuff. Like, <laughs> I respect his. No, he's one of the greats. Yeah, Let's he's be honest. crazy good, but it was a little bit picking, doing. You know, he yeah. he was smart, but yeah, if if you're gonna be the guy like that, I'm gonna fight everybody, fight the best all the time. All you will you, you will get ready for that not to happen, but. Realistically, it, it happens like it's normal. That's it. You fighting the best, like it, it cannot happen the other way. It's like I know driving the Formula One. You cannot win every race. It's impossible. You can win 30 races in a row, but 31 you will lose because yeah. yeah. No, I think you're right. I think uh, people like Khabib, like uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather, made. Zero losses, very important, but it isn't, right? No, you look no, like no. Uh, uh, like fighters it's just, like... It's just for for average fan or people who never saw fighting or nothing, just to say like, yeah, that, that's it. But it's, 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 it is not like that. It's, no. yeah. Yeah. And uh, let's be honest, creating highlights. Yeah. You, you got some highlights. Last yeah. time was Glory 82. We were attending uh, that event. It was in Germany. Yeah. Raul uh, Catinas. It was uh, early done. Yeah, it was very nice for me. Very nice <laughs> night. And it was it like was, pl playing in uh, in Croatia. Yeah, 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 it was like I was fighting in Croatia. <laughs> I hope this also event be the same. But uh, from what I know now, it will be like that. And uh, and uh, yeah, it it was a good night for me and it was all, also you know the first time i'm a main fight first show first everything it was kind of the very big thing for me you know at that moment so it is also now this is also a very big thing for me but that was the first you know yeah, so. it was november of last year yeah. i'm i'm counting in my head so that's almost seven months yeah. before you enter that ring again yeah. um ring rust do you believe in that nah, no no <laughs> I think when you come to the championship fight, it doesn't matter how much you want to fight, you will fight twice a year, not more than that. So if you cannot do it that way, you will never be the champion. Like if you need to fight every two months, you will not be the champion because simple, even if you become a champion, you need to fight again. You will not fight again in two months, you will fight again half a year, a year, because they need somebody to build, to make opponent, to make hype, to make everything. And that thing takes time, so it's like championship fights, like I fought now, fight then, then fight end of the year, then, you know, it's just how it goes. And I'm used to not fighting that often because coming out to the Croatia, I did not have a chance to fight as much as I want, I, you know, I was just training and staying ready and waiting for somebody to call. That's it. Champstar, als je knokken niet meer krijgt uit je kop. Champstar, oude hoeren zonder rem op die kop. Champstar, voor mijn strijders en mijn vechters pas in. Ga lekker zitten en laten we beginnen met de Champstar.